to me. Let, right, uh, let's let's talk to this uh, stone cold feather. He keeps calling in here. He's got some kind of a problem with the church. <sighs> Uh, hello, you're on the Bible Boys service today. Hello. You're on the Bible Boys service. You're on the BBC. Hey, Dave, how the hell are you, man? Okay, watch the language there, buddy, first off. I'm doing- right, now, I apologize. I apologize. Hang on a second. Now, my brother Stone Cold is in the bathroom currently. Okay. okay? All right. He's in the bathroom. All right. Okay. Now, he, I, I'm not going to lie to you. All right. Now, I still believe in the blood of the Jesus of Christ. Okay. I do, Mr. Dave. All right. But for some reason, Stone Cold has a problem. Now, I don't know if maybe he might have ate a bologna sandwich and it got him feeling kind of funny or something like that. I don't know if maybe he ain't farted in a couple days because, uh, you know, he probably just needs a Snickers and just needs to cool off. Okay. Because you, know you know how people get when they're hung. Well, I'll tell All you right. what, is this, hold on a second, you sound familiar. Is this Black Neck? Th- this is Black Neck, yes okay. it is. Well, I got to tell you, Black Neck, to be honest with you here, okay? Uh, okay, This right, man is coming here and he has challenged Jesus Christ and he has said Jesus ain't no savior. Okay. Did he really? I had no idea he said something like that. Well, well, now that ain't right. Stone Cold, did you really tell this man that Jesus is not real? Did you tell him that? Now, what on earth kind of beer do you have to drink to call off and tell somebody that Jesus is not real? I understand that you're taking a dump and it's going to take you another 10 minutes. But we're talking about something a little bit more serious. Now, I got this man on the phone. He's upset. He's mad. All right. That's not what the gospel is all about. And we talked about Amen. this stuff. Amen. The last time you put Bro- last time you went in that ring and you fought Brock Lesnar, you put a mingled middle finger up in his face and told him him and Christ could kiss your ass. Now, that's not something you're supposed to say to a Christian man. You're not supposed Brock Lesnar is a Christian, believe it or not. He is. I can prove it. I went to Sunday school with him. Amen. He used to fall Amen. asleep. He used Praise to fall asleep quite a bit. Praise he fell Lord. asleep quite a bit. And when they asked him to pray in tongues, it sounded like he was just reciting uh, uh, the, the, the national anthem backwards Amen. or something Amen. like that. Praise the Lord. Chippity, uh, do, do daddy. Amen. Thank, we got Brandon Bush for our giving an amen for him. Praise the Lord. So. You know, I'll tell you what, Dave. Where's Stone Cold? Because this man's been talking a lot of trash against the cross and against the BBC. But when it comes down to brass tacks, where is he? I'm looking for him. I tell you what, Dave. I tell you what. Why don't you wait until I get done taking a dump? And then I'll get on that phone and I'll give you a piece of my mind. Until then... You and the Lord can kiss my ass. Watch your done. Listen here, Stone Cold. Man, you want to come mouth. in here? You want to challenge the BBC? You, you want to challenge it, Jesus Christ? You watch your language while you do it. How you watch your, I'll tell you what. When I get off this toilet, I'm gonna end up not only watching you. I'm gonna watch your. I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do, Dave? I'm gonna prove to you that the Bible is fake. You gonna prove you the Bible's fake? Well, I'd like to see that stone. Oh, I yeah, would like to see that stone. That cold. That other good stuff. I would mm-hmm. like to see that because I'll tell you what, I've known no other truth in my life than the Bible, the hey, word that was Black given Mac. down to me by God. Black neck, black neck. Get back on the phone with him. Tell him give him about another five minutes, and I'll be on that phone and I'm gonna show his ass. I'm gonna show him. Watch your language, Stone Cold. You watch your language, you old crazy son of a bitch. Watch your- Out there telling people that the Lord what? is is real and all this other stuff. You got people believing in ghosts and spirits and, ghosts and, and all spirit. this other stuff. And ghosts it's a bunch and of trash, The Dave. spirit is around it's a bunch me. Of trash. The spirit I don't care, surrounds it's trash. me. It's trash. It's- I tell you what, you can take that Bible and you can shove it up Linder's ass. How about that? How about you shove it up there, Dave? Now you give me about a good five or ten minutes. And I get on the phone with you, and we'll rap about it. Black Neck, go ahead and handle my light work. Dave? Black? Dave, I have absolutely no idea what has come over that man. 
You're not supposed to go around talking about somebody's wife. That is that man's wife. How much did you drink today, Stone Cold? How much? Because it don't sound like you drank just two of them. All right? Sounds like you had about maybe about a good four or five, maybe six. Two per hand. Black, black man. I, I got to tell you, this man's coming here. He's challenged my faith, and he's challenged my commitment to my, and, my, and, my, and my family. What, that, my family, black man. He's, a, he is attacking lender. I, I, I understand that. I understand, Dave. I, I am very sorry for his behavior. See, first of all, he doesn't have a really good Christian background. Of course right. he don't have he, a Christian background. What what does he have against Jesus Christ and the BBC? What does he have against him? And, and that's the thing I don't quite understand about him because, hell, I remember when we was younger, he used to put on his suit and his nice little shoes and things, and now he is just all out ready to just go to war with God. What? I don't understand why he wants to go to war with God. What, listen, God didn't do nothing to him. Now, he's in the... He's in the crapper right now. Is that right, Black Neck? Yeah, he is. Okay, He's in now, the crapper. Now, if we could be quiet. He didn't flush no, about two or three of them already. No, I know you're a Christian man, and I know he's your he's your cousin, right? Is that it? Yeah, well. Stone Cold is your cousin. He's kind of like my cousin, my uncle, my nephew. He, he's all over the place. Okay. I, I can't even understand how that came. But, <sighs> I got to... <sighs> I got to ask you right now to go against family a little bit here. All right. A little bit. What is Stone Cold's weakness? Okay, what could I bring up? Because it sounds like it's going to be an intense battle of the minds here. Oh, one second. West 225. Austin, pray. doesn't he know you're a BBC wrestling cage deathmatch champion, does he? Uh, I ain't no champion or nothing like that. I'm a champion of Jesus Christ, but I got to tell you what, Black Neck. What... <sighs> Is there anything in, in, in Stone Cold's past you could bring up or, or tell me about that uh, we could use, you know, when things get a little bit too hairy for the Christians that we could use to kind of uh, help God win? All right. Well, he didn't close the door because he's awfully upset. Okay. But I can tell you this, all right? No, no, no. You can't tell nobody else. Well, I can't tell okay. nobody, no. Black Nick, what you on that phone talking about with that fake pastor? Don't be telling him none of my secrets, all right? I'm going to kick his ass when I get off of this toilet. Okay, do me a favor, close the door. Close the door. I don't want nobody in this chat room hearing me taking a dump. I'm on my fifth one, and I'm just about finished, Dave. All right? I'm just about done. After you, I get you, done here, you're just I about might, done. I you're going to be finished when Jesus Linda. is done with you. When Jesus and the BBC are done with you, you're going to be just about finished. How about that? I tell you what, I'm just about finished with this dump. When I get done with this dump, it's going to be me and you, Dave. I'm going to put a foot up your ass. It's going to be so far up your ass, my blueprint is going to be right under your little cowboy hat. You know, a little Walmart cowboy hat you got on. You know, this you that little cowboy hat was made by legitimate where'd real cowboys who, 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 who from Montana. Out for you, Dave? No, no, no. This cowboy hat was, was made by you, real cowboys. It was gifted out. to me as a praise and hat out. because them cowboys from Montana are good suit. Christians. They're good old boys. You can't boys. even pick your own suit, Dave. And what's the deal with that hat? Huh? Where'd you, where'd you get that? Who, who, where, where'd that hat come from? Wait. Was somebody making out of used toilet paper? Because it looks like shit, Dave. What? It's made out of used toilet paper. It looks like shit, Dave. Like shit. Out of tradition, out of tradition, the Cowboys of Montana, they take the, they take the straw. It looks like Shaquille O'Neal just got done winning the Lakers championship and just took your hat and wiped his ass with it. That's what it looks like, Dave. He wiped his, he wiped his ass with your hat, and now you're wearing it. So who's the bigger punk here? Me sitting on this toilet, or you sitting in that chair? With that two dollar Walmart suit on and that shit hat. Watch your. What do you think about that, Dave? I'll, I'll tell you what, Stone Cold. You watch your dang language. Tell me what, tell Jesus. me, Dave. Tell me what you got to tell me. Go ahead. What you got to tell me, Dave? Let me tell you something. I'll kick you, Jesus, and his daddy's ass seven days a week 
twice on Sunday. All right? Now, you take you and your little cheap-ass suit, and you go memorize that Bible, because I can damn sure guarantee you ain't got it all memorized. You probably ain't even got through the Genesis, have you? I know. Because you got about halfway through Genesis Hallelujah. and said, what the hell is this? I know Genesis. This shit is about fake. I know the beginning and I know so I the guess end. I I'm just going to get on Twitch I know and the talk begin- about it. I know the beginning. I know Genesis and I wrote Revelation, Mr. Stone Cold. Oh, yeah? I know Genesis hey, and what, I know Dave, Revelation. Dave, and I'll tell you what, Revelation, you're going to be the Revelation. How many books are there in the Bible, Dave? How many books are there? Go ahead, tell me. Count on one hand how many books there are in that Bible. Go ahead, Dave. I'll tell you if there was Go only ahead. one, it'd be more than you me. could read. Here, I'll tell you I'll what. Tell you if there was only one, Bring me a beer. I'll tell you if there Bring was only one. Bring me a beer so I can have myself a drink. I'll tell you if there was only one book While in the I'm Bible. This, this I'll tell you, Stone Cold. If there was only one book in the Bible. How many books were in the Bible? If there was only one book in the Bible, more than you could read. I'll tell you what, Dave. I can memorize that Bible. Better you can memorize the beer can that's in my hand right now. How about that? How about that, Dave? Of course you've been drinking. Of course you've been drinking. Okay, I ain't drinking. Give me that phone, Steve. Amen. You need to concentrate on taking your dump. You got half of the one hanging out of your butt right now. You you know, Mr. Blackneck, Mr. Blackneck, Mr. Blackneck, you want want me to tell you, Mr. Blackneck, you know what? You want me to tell you why it takes so long for this man to take a dump? Why? Why is okay? I, I apologize. Let, I'm gonna apologize. Let me, to the let me close the door. Let me close, I'm the, door. Let me close the door. Hold on. I just don't want Steve door. to get up with half a That's turn fine. hanging out of here. That's fine. Hang on. A That's fine. I'm gonna tell the congregation right now, and I, I hate to use this kind of language as a pastor, but the reason it takes this long, this man Stone Cold, so long to take a dump, is because he's full of shit. Uh, okay. Uh, That's the truth. This man's coming in here. He's defiling Jesus' name. He's attacking the church. I agree. And he's wrong. He's he's wrong. And and we can can all agree, Steve, you are wrong, and you need to get on the phone. Go ahead. Drop your little turd because you know you're wrong. You're in the wrong. You're letting Satan use you, and it's wrong, Steve. It's just flat out wrong. I don't care. I don't care if you won king of the ring. All right? Amen. That doesn't give you the right to go around switching Bible verses around, telling everybody that Austin 316 says I'll kick your ass. Now, if that isn't the biggest form of blasphemy, I really don't know what is. No, I'm not going to give you the phone because you don't know how to act proper. Maybe if you knew how to act proper, Hallelujah. I'd give you the phone. Okay, we got, and I'm, anyway, I'm sorry, and we anyway, got folks in here saying a bunch of bad words. Well, I'll tell you what, your dang message got uh, filtered out because all the bad words you was using. Y'all can't figure out not to use bad words in a dang church. Why don't you try to figure it out? Hey, hey, hang on a second. He's getting up off the seat. Hang on. I'm, I'm going to put... Hang on. Hang on one second, all right? Hang okay. on. Is he? I think Stone. I think he's supposed to try and come in here, and he's trying to defend Satan somehow. I mean, this man. I'll tell you what. He's he's got to be an agent of Satan. He's got. Hold be. on a second, Dave. Hang on. Hang okay, on it's second. fine. It's fine. Now, Stone Cold, don't you get on that phone talking greasy now, all right? You get on there and you talk like you got some common sense. And when you get on that phone, you apologize to Mr. Dave and tell him that you're sorry for talking about his outfit, that you're sorry for talking about his church, that you're sorry for telling people that Jesus is fake, all right? You need to apologize. Now, I'm going to give you the microphone, but the minute you slip, I'm taking it away, all right? Yeah. So okay. so, what's up with it, Dave? Huh? I got. Go ahead. I'll, I'll I'll let you start. I'll let you. Okay. I'll usually like to let women start first, so I'll let you go, Dave. Go right ahead. All right. 
well, brothers and sisters in Christ are all children of him. But I will say brothers this, Uncle. Brothers and sisters of Christ, my ass. Go ahead. Ass. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, all right, buddy. Go I'm going to ask you, why'd you, come out, why'd you come around to the Bible Boys Church and decide Why do you think that, I did? Didn't you get my voicemail? I got I got a couple of your voicemails. You got a couple. Church. Okay, good. Good. Then you understand why it is that I'm calling. Because you're out here misleading these people, Dave. I'm misleading you know the folks. Fake. I'm still not understanding. I hear it's these dang messages. I, I ain't fake. How am I fake, sir? I heard Jesus was a basketball player, and I did research and found out that was fake, too. What are you going to tell me? He's, he, he, you know what, Dave? I'll tell you what. That man is about as fake as that that robe he wears every day. You're that saying, robe is made up. That, yeah. Where did yeah, you hear Jesus was a basketball player? I've seen it in Sports Illustrated, Dave. All right? It's, and over there making up all this stuff, saying that he was on the high school team and all this. And, and, and yeah, and that's a bunch of it's a bunch of trash. All right? I know a basketball player when I see one, and Jesus wasn't one of them. Just like he ain't, he just like he ain't, you know, the savior like everybody else says he is. That's just some stuff that people are making up to make them feel easy, something that they could run to, instead of picking up their fists and whooping some ass. It's fake. It's all fake, hundred percent. What you got to say? What, what's the problem? What's the problem, Dave? Hey, chat. If you believe that Jesus Christ is fake, let me hear a hell yeah. I, no, I ain't going to use language. I, no, Mr. Give me a hell Mr. yeah. Mr. Stone, no, Mr. Stone, I ain't going to use the same kind of language that you've been using here today. I ain't going to do that. Okay. I ain't a man who's going to come in here and I'm, I'm not going to defile my morals. Give me a hell yeah. yeah. Mr. Stone, and, I ain't going to give you an, an H yeah because I'll tell you, I'm not going to glorify Satan's domain. You understand what I'm and, saying? And if, and if you're a thug, grab your balls and say fuck yeah. Watch your. Okay, yeah. I can't, right. I can't, I'm gonna give I you can't watch, Mr. Mr. Stone. Hey, hey Dave, I got something for you. I can't watch my language because everything I say is below my nose, so I can't watch it. Yeah, dumbass. Okay, what? Yeah, try uh, that. Uh, listen, I'm gonna give you. Come on, come on, say, dumbass. Because this is a sir. Come on. This is a battle of good right. and evil today. And I'm going to give you an opportunity, Go Mr. Stone Cold. I'm going to allow you to say what you need to say. I'm going to allow you to use your foul satanic language just to give my yeah. audience an idea about how yeah. folks like you operate. While I'm at it, let me go ahead and take a drink of my beer. You go ahead and take your drinks of your beer. You get intoxicated and use foul Hallelujah. language, and we'll see who wins out this Thank argument. You. Watch your language, Brandon. You ain't exempt. You ain't exempt, Brandon 29. You can't just say foul words. Uh -oh. Now, let me tell you something, son. You heard Jesus was a basketball player. Where'd you hear that from? <laughs> I'll tell you. I, I don't care where you heard it from. Jesus beat you in a game of basketball. Jesus beat anybody in a game of basketball and challenged him. Jesus is the creator of the universe. He could beat anybody in any game you can imagine. Oh, bullshit. What? I can't. Uh, that's, a, that's just about as real as Millie Vanilli getting on stage and actually opening their mouth to use their voices. Okay? Jesus could be any kind. You, you, you present me a challenge. Jesus is Millie Vanilli. You present, Jesus is Millie Vanilli. You present. He's the, he, no. he's the Millie Vanilli of the universe, Dave. No, no, no. How no, about no. that? No, no, no. You present me a challenge right now that you think Jesus couldn't win. And I'll tell you, Jesus will win it. Any challenge you can think of, anything, any right. kind of a challenge. I'm going to prove it to you. Yeah. I'm going to prove it to you, Dave, and you can even YouTube it if you want to. SummerSlam, 99. Okay. I arm wrestled him and whooped his ass. You did not do – you ain't arm wrestled yeah. Jesus. Yes, no, I did. Didn't. I arm wrestled him. No, yes, you I didn't. Did. You didn't. I even laughed at, I laughed at him while he did it. I laughed at him while he did it, and he got mad, and I still whooped his ass. Now yeah. what? You didn't arm wrestle Jesus Christ. That did not happen. I That's did. a lie. Yeah. Yes, I did. I arm wrestled him. And while I was arm wrestling him, I was drinking a beer and eating a McDonald's cheeseburger. Uh, you, what you think about that? I think you're... I, what you think about that, Dave? I, I think you're a dang liar. There ain't no and way Jesus you, would lose. And I think your hat still looks like somebody, like Godzilla, wiped his ass with it. 
It looked like Godzilla sat on your head and just ran his ass backwards and forwards on top of your head and made your hat look brown like that, Dave. This hat was gifted to me by cowboys who grew up, were born, raised, and fed in Montana. And this hat was one of the, it was made from one of their old outhouse seats before they made every year. They were that hat was given to you. With a that new hat, one. They built that hat was given to you. Shut your ass up. That hat was given to you by a farm owner who owns a bunch of cows. That you, all he did was take it and dip it in cow shit. Your hat looks like cow shit, Dave. Yeah, it looks like cow shit. And you know what? Your suit looks like cow shit also, except somebody dyed it black right along with the brown. What you think about that? It's cow shit. It's all cow shit. Just like your beard. Cow shit. Just like Linder. Cow shit. Now you watch it. You're going to speak about my... I, I gave you amnesty to say what you need to say, I Mr. spoke Rice. about it three times already. You didn't do nothing. Okay. I didn't... Now what? You say, you say I didn't do Do something, Dave. Do something. Do something. Do... I'm waiting for you. Bring it on. <laughs> I have faith in Christ who strengthens me, and Christ is telling me to turn the other cheek and to forgive you for your nastiness. Christ is an asshole. What do you think about that? How dare you? How dare you say Christ is a... How dare yeah. you use that kind of language against our creator? He made you. Why does I that make you what feel? I want because he I'm so called. I do what I want. You do he didn't make you. shit. He didn't make shit. How about that? He, he made you. Shit. He needs to make you shut up. If he's, you know, I tell you what, Dave, I'll say a little prayer right now. Lord, if you're real, take all the shit off of Dave's hat and make it white again. This is a legitimate cowboy hat. This was made by real cowboys in Montana. Forget and make America great again. Make Dave's hat white again. How about we have that? Make Dave's hat there white ain't again. Nothing wrong with my hat. You got all sorts of shit on that hat. I'm, where, Dave, really, where'd you buy your outfit from? I, you know, I really want to believe you didn't buy it from Walmart. I got my. But you're you're, you're making me a believer. I got my I got my outfit from the Value City. From the Val Value City, don't even have clothes stores no more. Try again. I got it about six years ago. I bought Try again, from asshole. Value City. Try again. About six years Value ago, City, I, I've had this outfit for a while now. It's an older outfit, but it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, no, there's plenty wrong with it, Dave. There's shit on it. Wait. Open open your jacket. Open your suit jacket. Open your suit jacket. All kind of, there's all kind of ass on it. What do you mean is that? There's nothing wrong with my the inside of my jacket, sir. Look at it. Look at that jacket. Look at it. Okay. So you're not going to tell me that some cow didn't take it and wipe his ass with it? Oh, but buddy, listen. What, why don't you get ass off your brain? Why don't you stop thinking in doo-doo and pee-pee and poo-poo and start thinking about the way things are? Hey, Dave, you drink beer? No, I don't drink beer. You know why? No, well, I, I, I don't think that it's, it's, it's right for a pastor to be getting intoxicated. Because you're a pussy, Dave. That's why you don't drink beer. And you know what else? You know, I, I, I got this girl who drinks beer with me, Dave. You know what her name is? It ain't Flarney. It's Linder. You, no, no, you ain't never. Linda loves to drink beer. You ain't, been, you ain't her, never been nowhere near beer. my wife. She loves that beer. She loves it. You ain't never you know been else? nowhere near my wife. She loves that beer, Dave. You know, you know, she she even thinks that Jesus is fake. You should ask. My her. Linder is strong in her faith. She believes in Jesus Christ. She raised our boys, Georgia Jim, and our daughter Barbara, to love Jesus Christ, Mister Stone Cold. You will That's never be able to understand that. You will never be able to understand family. You will never be able to understand love, and you will be never be able to understand a relationship with your Creator. See, Dave, that's where you got things wrong. See, I do understand relationships. I do understand love. Just ask Linder.
What's wrong, Dave? Shit dripping off your hat? My hat was made by real, genuine cowboys. You know that. You know that. You've come in here today to try and detract from the fact that I have a legitimate cowboy hat and I have a legitimate church and Jesus Christ hey, is the greater Mac. universe. Black Mac. Let me get ahead of that joint. I got I to smoke some weed to this man. This this guy right here. He's he's something else. Yeah. That's the good stuff right there, Dave. Hey, Linda, you want some? L Linda ain't over there. <laughs> Linda's, Linda went down to the hey, grocery store three hours ago, and she's not going to be back until a bit later. That's what she told you, huh? She, she, uh, she, went, down to, she went down Linda. to the Kroger to pick up some groceries. <laughs> hey, Linda, when, when you get off the toilet, you want to talk to Dave on the phone? No, you don't? All right. Well, she's in there taking a shit right now, but... When she when she gets good and cleaned off, we gonna get busy, Dave. That's right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lick bear off of her butt. Okay, buddy. All right, that's it. Yeah, listen, you you are you are stepping over the line here. Okay, you're stepping over the line I'm, completely. I'm gonna lick bear off her butt, Dave. Okay, no, 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 buddy. Listen, old, I'm gonna give you a chance to old, redeem old your style beer. You, you're lying, Landrain at your Nickelode. house. You're going. You're Budweiser. <laughs> it's gonna be Budweiser. Budweiser beer. I'm gonna give you an opportunity right now to ask forgiveness to Jesus. I'm gonna bow my head, and I, I hope you do too. Dear Lord, we may, we may as well go ahead and give me three of them. Go ahead. Do a repeat whole after me, Stone Cold. Prayer. Repeat after me, dear Lord. Yeah, yeah. What up, Lord? What, what do you need? Uh, forgive me, Jesus, for insulting Pastor Dave. You should be thanking me for insulting Pastor Dave. I have never spent no time with his wife, Linda. No, Linda was great. Can you pray she becomes my wife? I ain't going to be drinking beer out of Linder's butt crack. I'll tell you that, Jesus. I'm going to let beer drip off that butt and I'm going to drink it. Dang it! Why don't you let you, you, you're hearing what I'm praying. You're just saying the dang wrong thing on purpose. Wait a minute. What are you getting bent out of shape for, Dave? Why am I getting just bent out of doing? shape? I told you you ain't going to be doing these things and you're praying that you keep on doing them. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Dave, I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. Go ahead, go back to praying. I'll pray with you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dave. I'm listening to okay, you, man. You're dear, the dear Lord. Right. Dear Lord. I've decided to stop pursuing married women. I said it just to myself. Go ahead, keep going. What do you mean you said it? Hold on a second. What do you mean you said it to yourself? Say it out loud. No, I don't want nobody to hear me. Just go ahead. What, what do you mean you don't want nobody to hear it? Why not? Ellen underscore. Go, all right, I'll tell you what. Go, go repeat, repeat what you said, Dave. Repeat. It. Repeat what you Just said. Say okay, the word, okay. Pastor Dave, and we'll kill this motherfucker in the name of Jesus. Okay, God, watch, watch it, Ellen. We ain't trying to hurt nobody that way. All right, we're just gonna pray for him and make him better. I'm gonna say it again, dear Lord. I'm sorry for pursuing married women. God damn, Linda got a big ass. Oh, I'm sorry. Repeat that again. I'm sorry. Repeat it. I will no longer pursue married women. Is that a phone? T what? Linda, is that a phone? She got on a phone, Dave. Well, it's got some money in it. That must have been me when I was slipping it down her crack. That's I tried to use that the That is it! I was trying to use That's the That's it! I I'm giving wait, you wait, an wait, opportunity wait. to repent towards Jesus Christ and you have persisted in wallowing in the muck of hell and Satan's diarrhea. You are continuing to worship Satan in the deepest, darkest depths of hell. I've given you an opportunity to redeem yourself and you have rejected it. Hey, Stonewall, hey. let me know when you're done with that call so we can have a good time with Linda. Amen. Who, who's yeah, that? I... Who is that? 
Hey, it's Hulk Hogan, brother. Hey, hey what's Hulk? going on there, Hulk? Hulk? What's going on, Steve? It's been a while there, brother. It's been a while. You still kicking ass? Hell yeah, I'm taking names, brother. Good shit, good shit. Good you got shit. a beer for me? Yeah, here, here, go ahead and take that. Yeah. Yeah, what you gonna do now, Dave? That's what's good shit, brother. It's you and your shit hat. Versus Stone Cold and the Legend. Uh, ho, 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 hold on a second. I want to get this straight hell here. Satan and WWE. Uh, no, you ain't going to hell, Satan. Hold on. You brought your Satanist WWE boys in here. I'm going to say something here. I'm going to say something. You brought oh, your Dave. Wait, you ta you Dave. just tag teamed in Hulk Hogan. We was having a 1v1 match, and you decided that you wasn't man enough to fight me, so you brought Hulk Hogan in with you. Why don't you bring in Pastor P for a shoots and letters match? Shoots and letters. Yeah. Buddy, you ain't prepared for a Pastor Dave and Youth Pastor Pete match. You ain't prepared for it. I'll tell you what, Stone Cold was up against the ropes, so he brought you in. Is what happened. I was up against the ropes. You Dave, was up you couldn't against even finish the ropes. Your prayer. You was up Whoa, against Linda. the ropes, Stone Cold. You ain't had a leg to stand on. Whoa, Linda, watch it. Watch it. Watch it. I'm on a phone call. Yeah, yeah, that's. What? How small is this pecker? I hear some files, Valerie, in here. We got oh, holy yeah, man. Brother. We got holy man Randy Sanchez on Pastor Dave's oh. side of the ring. Praise God, holy man. Oh, that's right, Dave. You got Wait, old Hogan. You got Stone Cold Steve inches? Austin in here, but they're no match to me. That's right, because the cream of the crop always rises to the top. And I tell you what, I'm going to crush these fools down into the ring. Amen. I'm going to crush their bones and turn them and twist the sinews. Amen. That's right. Oh, crush I'm this. Crush that. You them. How about, I'm going to make how, them feel How about puny. I crush your ass? How about I crush your ass? You still over there talking about. Listen here, you little oh, shit. You're nothing to the top, compared to me. Down to the bottom. Hoopity hoo wah. Whatever doo da. Okay? I got the power of the. The Holy Spirit on my side. You ain't got the power he told of shit. Me to kick Only your ass you in the, the ring this Saturday night. Is Jack Amen. Amen. Amen, Randy Sanchez. Holy off. man, Randy Sanchez. Praise God. He's come to. I'm going to kick the shit so far out of you, it's going to go into Hulk Hogan, and I'm going to kick the shit back out of him and put it back inside of you. Amen. Because you're both file. Amen. I'm going to take my foot and shove it so far up your ass, the top of your head is going to look like Dave's hat. Shit. How about that? I might say shit a lot, but at least I ain't got like a scat finish like you do, son. Amen. You're sick. Yeah. Amen. There's the difference between me, you, and Dave. Sick. I got more beer, and I got more Go bitches. Amen. And trust Shells me, I got 90. I got 90. Praise yeah, you got your little bitch boy, all coke. I got 99. Got, Let me tell you something, brother. I got 99 problems. And a holy man, nor a shitty Pastor Dave, ain't one. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. I'll tell you, I'm Stone Skull may neck. say so, but Jesus Christ has the final say. Jesus Christ created you, son. Jesus Christ Amen, made brother. you, and he made you to be an obedient Praise servant. God, the brother. fact that you are God. not an obedient servant says to me that you are a defective Jesus unit. Jesus. You are defective oh, yeah. in the eyes of Christ. Yeah. Preach it. Let me ask you a question. Ah, yeah. Let me ask you a question. What do you want, Hulk Hogan? What you gonna do when Hulk Mania runs wild on you? What am I gonna do when Hulk Mania runs wild? I'm gonna pray for Christ Mania to supersede Hulk Mania, and I'll tell you what, Jesus Christ is gonna do it. That's right. Jesus Christ has to be real before he can do anything. Yes, where you fell straight, Dave. Jesus Christ is the real deal. And holy man Randy Sanchez said it earlier. Jesus Christ is the cream of the crop. Jesus Christ is the cream of the crop. The cream rises to the top. Isn't that right, holy man? Hey, man. You want to come see me in Halloween Havoc? I want to see you come to Christ. Linda wants to know if you're going to come over so we can run train on her. We can make beer off her butt. Take you down in the tag team. Hey, Amen. I'll tell you this: she wants to see we, the cream of the crop. We can make beer off Cold Linder's Steve butt. Austin. Let me get Stone Cold Steve Austin so we can get Linder's cream of the crop. What do you mean by? Well, hold on a second. What do you mean about Linder's cream? What are you talking about there? 
Uh, we're talking uh, about Linder's Stone Cold. Cold. Dave, 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 we, we'll have to creamy, Dave. listen, Dave. I know about Linder's Cream too, and I'm going to have to explain it to you later off stream. So what, do you, you what, what do you mean you know about Linder's Cream? What are you talking about there? It's the cream of the crop, brother. My, my, it's the cream of the crop. What do you mean you by whoa, 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 whoa. hold up? What are you talking about? I'm my wife's cream. Say, what are you talking about? My wife's cream for? Well, that woman's going to stick out the bottom of the The cream of the crop with honey on it. We're gonna put Linder creams in the kitchen, more so than any woman cookies. I've ever seen in my entire life. She's gonna bake some cookies and we're gonna put some cream on them. Her butt looked like two honey yeah. buns in a microwave. Dang it, my oh, wife's yeah, buns brother. don't look like two honey buns in a microwave. You don't know you're what right. my wife's butt cheeks look like. You're you right, ain't you're never right, seen right, them right. stone cold. You're a liar. Hey, you're a stone cold. You ain't a stone right, cold, right. Steve Look Austin. You are a stone cold liar. You're right. You're right, Pastor Dave. They don't. They don't look like They don't look like honey buns. Everyone, everyone backstage at BBCW Wrestling knows what uh, your wife's ass looks like. What do you mean? She gets passed around a lot. What? What? Yeah. What did you say? I just want to clarify, hey, bro. I, just I want got to clarify, our job brother. as an announcer going around the ring oh, in a bikini you, brother. with nothing on but the bottom half, holding up a card oh, yeah, to everybody brother. what round is is. Holy man, you keep know? your hands off your penis. I'm telling you right now. My little beef stick is turning into a Slim Jim, if you know what I'm saying, brother. Well, you keep your dang workout. hands off your dang Packers. Now listen to me. Bring. My wife ain't involved with Stone Cold Steve Austin. My wife ain't involved with Hulk Hogan. And my wife ain't involved with Holy Man Randy Sanchez. My wife is down on her knees for Jesus. You're right. She's well, on she her knees. She was down on her knees for the three count. And by the three count, I mean me, Austin, and Hulk tag teaming. It wasn't well, exactly you, a wrestling. As soon as I brought her into the ring, she took hers off, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, Married or not, oh, she's yeah, getting in the ring with us. Linder, yeah, brother. Linder, Linder, make sure you get the balls, too, all right? Make sure you get the balls, oh, too. Yeah. If you want to see this SmackDown with me, Holy Man Randy Sanchez, and Stone Cold Steve Austin, let me get a hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This is going to be WWE Raw, if you know what I'm saying, huh? Dave, you got some people in the bless room. We got some uh, special wrestling guests that we want to bring in here. Who, who, hold on a second. Who, who, in the world, who, who in the world is calling in now? Who? Is, hello, oh. Mr. Ray Mysterio. Hello? hello? What, what are you calling in about today, buddy? I, I'm getting into the meat and potatoes. As old. These folks are saying they're trying to mess around my wife. The only meat that anyone's manner. getting into is your wife's ass. Oh, yeah, we, we are doing that, you know. Hmm. Linda, how are you going to do that with that beer like that? And on my balls, man. That... My wife ain't at your oh, house. Yeah. Put, hold on. Put Linda on the phone then, Stone Cold. If my wife is really at your house, put her on the dang telephone. All right, hang on one second. I'll go get her. Go ahead and get her. Shit hat. Watch your life. My hat ain't shit. There ain't nothing wrong with my hat. This is a genuine cowboy hat that was crafted oh, yeah, by Cowboys not... Montana. You know, you know, Dave, if there's nothing wrong with your hat, why don't you take it off, you little pussy bitch? Holy oh, man, I God. thought you was on my side when you called in. Dave? I turned heel. Don't you ever Dave? watch wrestling, you dumbass? Of course you turned heel. You turned heel Dave. because you're working for Satan. Hello? Oh, my God, Dave. I turned heel because I'm whoa, working whoa, whoa, for whoa, uh, whoa, Vince whoa, McMahon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Excuse me, Dave. Stone Cold. So, it, Lander? Uh, Lander kind of a uh, puto. Lander? It, it, it's Linder. Hello? Hi, Dave. Hello? Um, I have something uh, to hey, tell Linder. you. Okay, what's what kind the, of what, color panties uh, are you wearing uh, tonight? Yeah. Sto- Holy man, watch your mouth. Linder, what are you doing at Stone Cold's house? Um, well, Stone Cold, I ran into him at the grocery store. Okay. And um, he was like, so you want to come over to my house? And okay. I couldn't resist. I just couldn't resist. Okay, why do you want to go to Stone Cold's house when you got a perfectly fine... Earlier tonight, you said you was coming back home. We got a perfectly fine turkey dinner that you prepared yesterday. We was going to have the cold cuts from today. He's going I to know. have a turkey sandwich. He said that he yeah. had, like, a lot of first generation... He's eating the booty like groceries, Dave. Watch your dang mouth, Randy Sanchez! Watch it! 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Lander, why are you at Stone Cold's dang house? We got um, cold cuts of turkey for sandwiches tonight. Now, where have you been at? I already told you. I was at the, the Miracle Whip store. jar is still open on the counter. We're waiting for you to come home and make your dang sandwich. Now, where are you? Why are you being so mean? I mean, seriously, it's uh, not that bad. I ain't being hey, mean. She I comes mean, over to our house. You said you was going to Kroger toss the salad. three hours ago, and you ain't been back. Now, why are you at dang old Stone Cold's house? See, this is the problem with you, Dave. You don't listen. I try to talk to you, and it's like trying to talk to a wall with a shit hat on top. I'm sorry, but Stone Cold was Watch right. Watch the I told, I, Linda, I, no, Linda, are you no, the one? Hold on. No, no Linda. Are no, you, Linda, shut up. Now you listen, listen to me. Listen. I'm the man no, of this house. You listen to me. You listen to me. Oh, are you it the one? Hold on. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Are you the one who told Stone Cold? I have a poo-poo hat. I don't have a poo-poo hat. I don't. Listen to your brother. I'm not talking to your wife like that. We all know that. I'm not talking to your wife. I've been talking to your with her massages since. Stone Cold Stock is getting sucked with beer. She is I poured beer on it and sucked it. This I'm sucking okay, it. hold on. I got oh, hey, Leonard, 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 we got somebody sending a message. They're saying that you're over. I know you got a massage ser uh, service that you do to make a little extra money. Did you go to Stone Cold's house to give him a, a massage? No, he told me that he had like a bunch of first generation Transformers. And I think Transformers Hallelujah. are cool. You know that. Lord so I thought I would go. Hold on, Sam. I, I don't know who the Lord RFC. Frank is, but he ain't no part of the Bible Boys Church. I believe in Jesus here, and my wife Lander don't believe in Frank neither. Now, Lander, I want you to come home. How about that? I don't care why you're there now, but I want you to come home now. Okay, let me just be frank with you. Can okay. I be frank? With okay, you, you can be and frank not, with me. And I'm not talking about a guy named Frank. I'm talking about really being serious for. Okay. Can we do that? Okay. Okay, good. Now, here's what I want to say. I have been trying okay. to get you to find a job for like the past two years. Okay. And you have not responded. What do you mean and I have fun? What do you mean I what do I want to have fun. Okay. And you're not letting me have fun. And so Stone Cold invited me to his house. He showed me the size of his donger. And I got interested. I mean, look, you're only four inches thick. I need more. Lander, don't. Hey, Hulk. Hulk, Hulk. Hulk. Whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. What, what did you just say, Lander? I need more. You're only four inches thick. Okay, big. what? That ain't even true. That ain't true. Maybe four and, maybe four and, and a half if your heart what? pumps right. Holy oh, man. That's kind of That ain't the truth. That's a lie. That's a dang. Uh, uh, Got Dave the BBC and the TDD, amen. Okay, they've got a tiny pee, -pee. That's <laughs> the reason why huh. I can't get pregnant, because when you We got three kids. We got three dang time. kids. What are you talking about? Dave, oh, I got yeah, a comment. I I, listen here, brother. I got a comment about your wife and her, her saying that you ain't got a job. I think your job oh, is whoring man. out your wife to professional wrestlers. Dave, they're not your kids. They are my kids. They are. They're, no, they Those are not. Those George, Jeb, and Barbara are my kids. No, and they're not. You ever George, notice why Jeb, Jeb has a mullet and the other one wears tiger strap pants all the time? They're David, Michael, and Seneca. And I had them with, you know, okay, you know that guy that sounds like The Rock? Dwayne Johnson? He sounds like The Rock. But his name is Dwayne Johnson. They're his kid. Two of them. The other one is The Undertaker. I sucked his duck too. Linda, come, come home. We'll talk about this. We'll, we'll figure it out. As a family, we can figure this out. You don't have to spend hey, time. Linda, we don't have to, you don't have to spend time at Stone Cold's house. You don't need to. I, but I like sucking dack. I like sucking wrestlers' dack. Okay. Well, you I like sucking at their Hey, Linda. Hey. When, when you're done at Stone Cold's, you want to come over here and when suck When they're wrestling dick. and their shorts are on, I like watching their donger shake while they body slam. 
I love Lind- watching Linder, them shake. Linder, come home. <laughs> Linder, come home. I like stroking them. Linder, come, come home. Linder's gone. Yeah. Come home. Oh, with yeah, cooking brother. oil. With cooking oil. Come oh, home. Come oh home. yeah, brother. Come home. Randy oh, Sanchez, oh, shut God. your dang mouth. Get your hand off your painted. Linder, come home, please. Just come home. Oh yeah, come, Linder. Oh, yeah. Come yeah, home, Linder. Brother. I'm really feeling this, brother. I oh yeah, home. brother. Oh my God. Oh. Come on, my please. Slim Jim's turpin and back please, into come, a leaf stick. Oh my just, God. Pl- just please come home, I please, Linder. Come on. Touching my I'm Linda, really I'm hearing you to talk it. too much, which oh, means yeah, you don't have your mouth on my pecker. So get over here, brother. Huh? J- Lander, oh, Lander, just come home. I, there's still a place oh, for you at home. Oh, George oh, and Jeb oh, have been waiting for you to come home. The mayor oh, whips oh, on the counter oh, is still oh, up. We're waiting oh, for y'all to make a turkey oh, sandwich. Oh, 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 amen, oh, oh, amen. Oh, oh, in there. <laughs> amen, oh, amen. We're waiting for Linda to come, too. Praise the Lord, son. Pastor David Hold up, wait, somebody said it's not really Lander. Hold on a second. Yeah, wait, wait. Somebody said this ain't Lander. Tap it. Hello? Sorry, David. Get it, Daddy. Dave, wait, wait a minute. That, do, that doesn't sound hold on. That, that, no, that of, wait, wait, wait a minute. That doesn't sound like Lander. Lander? What's Jeff's yeah. middle name? <laughs> Lander, what's Jeff's middle name? I think I'm gonna. Right. Oh my God, Lander! I'm asking oh you shut your mouth for one second, Dave. I'm trying to give her the holy smackdown. Yeah, round of applause. Oh, yeah, Lin- Lander, I need yeah, to know. Brother. I need to. I need to know that you're the real Lander. So what tough. is what is your son oh, Jeb's you, middle you, name? From the back, so. you, what is your son Jeb's middle name, Lander? So sometimes holy I just like to sit in the corner and watch. So Lander, what is, your son Jeb's, what is your son Jeb's middle name? Ginger. All right, get out. You're a fake, you're a phony, you're a no, fraud. No, I'm not. It's you ginger. are a now fake. You're, ginger now ain't you're gonna Jeb's deny Jeb's middle me. name ain't Now ginger. you're going to deny me because I'm getting the D I've always wanted. You are a liar. Stone Cold hired you to pretend to be Lender. You've listened to my wife's voice and you've impersonated her to try and diminish Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Jesus Christ is the creator of the universe. My wife, Lender, spends four hours at Kroger before she comes home to eat her Miracle Whip turkey sandwiches. Okay, you are hey, a fraud and a phony. Dave. What? Can I buy your wife? No, you can't buy my wife. You know I'm rich. I know you're rich. Give, I give you two million for her. I got 20 pesos. I don't care. All right, Ray Mysterio and Stone Cold, y'all are out of here. I ain't going to sell my wife to you. Get out. Get out. How about 8,000? Get out. Out, both of you. Get out. Hulk Hogan, do you have anything Christian to say? You foul too. Let me just tell you one, one more thing, brother. Okay. I'm about to bring the holy smackdown on this entire church with my massive cock. Oh, get the, yes, get the hell out! Get 